welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of 2016 and this look is inspired by David Bowie. He just recently passed away so I wanted to dedicate this video to him and his fans. So if you guys want to know how I recreated the Ziggy Stardust look then please continue watching. Okay so the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my face and to prime my face I'm using this Benefit Professional. And after I prime my face, I'm going in and blocking out my brows for this look. I do have a separate video on this, so I'm going to leave that link in the description box below. But the only thing I did different this time is I took this LA Girl Concealer in Orange. And I just applied that first and then applied my Krylon TV Paint Stick in Ivory over it. And then now I'm just taking the TV Paint Stick in Ivory again and applying that all over my face and onto my neck. And just blending that all out with a damp beauty blender. Next to set the face in place, I'm going to go in with this Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder and I'm going to be applying that all over my face. This is the picture I was going off of and I'm moving on to the hair now. So all I did was dampen my hair a little bit and then I'm just taking this Red Ken Shine Defining Pomade and I'm going to be applying that into my hair and then just blow drying it into the shape I want. And then next I'm just taking these ponytail synthetic hair that I cut and I'm just going to bobby pin this into my hair to get that mullet look and then after this I'm going to just be spraying all of my hair with some color hairspray. Moving on to coloring the hair with these temporary sprays I'm going to use the deep red one first and then I'm just going to spray a little bit of the orange one in front to get some highlights but I mostly sprayed all of my hair with the deep red color. So now that that's done, I'm going to move on to the hairline. So I'm just taking this black Mayron face paint and this red face paint I got at Joann's and then I'm just going to make my hairline look similar to his. Next going in with this Nazaru face paint in the color orange, I'm going to be painting that on the sides of my hair to give myself highlights. Next picking up this NYX Jumbo Pencil on Milk, I'm going to be highlighting some parts of my face. Like the tops of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, the middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my neck. Next, moving on to the lightning bolt on his face, I'm just going to be picking up some of the orange face paint on this little brush and I'm just going to be outlining it where I want it to be and then after I outline it, I'm just going to fill it all in. Next, picking up this turquoise face paint, I'm just going to be outlining the right side of the lightning bolt. And then I'm just picking up this blue face paint, and I'm just going to go over it to give it a darker blue. And then just picking up this next slide on, slide on eye pencil, I'm just going to go over it as well. And then now I'm just going to pick up some of the Krylon TV paint stick on this Anastasia brush, and I'm going to clean it all up. And now just going back into that black and red face paint mixture that I made and I'm just going to add more hair like strokes onto the hairline I just created. And now just picking up the black face paint, I'm just going to create shadows onto the hairline and also into the hair as well. Taking the blue face paint again, I'm just going to be creating an ombre on the blue side. And then I'm just taking this NYX eyeliner and I'm just going to be creating black lines to separate the blue from the orange. And then I'm just going to be taking an angled brush and I'm just going to be blending out those lines a bit. 
next, taking this Morphe blush palette in 10B, I'm going to be picking up those three shades and I'm going to be applying this into where you would normally contour, but I'm just going to be applying blush there. So I'm just going to be applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, the, my temples, and also my jawline. And I'm also picking up those blushes and applying them to my eyes and also into the inner part of my eye right there. And also running it on my lower lash line as well. And I'm also going to be contouring my nose with the same blushes as well. Picking up the Jumbo Eye Pencil again in Milk, I'm just going to be re-highlighting my Cupid's bow to intensify it, and then I'm just going to be blending that out. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking this NYX lip liner in the color Peekaboo, and this Jordana lip liner in Rock and Roses, and I'm going to be applying them into the shape of the picture that I'm going off of and then I'm going to be applying a colored rain matte lip paint in the color bachelorette. So I guess I'm highlighting my Cupid's bow for the third time and then blending that out. And then I'm just going to be contouring in between those two lines to make it seem like my Cupid's bow is really sunken in. And then I'm just contouring around the mouth a little bit and then just blending it out. Taking my Lorac Pro palette, I'm taking that champagne eyeshadow from the palette. I'm going to be applying that onto my lips and then I'm just going to give my lashes a curl and then I'm going to pop in my contacts and then after that I'm just going to highlight the inner corner with the next Jumbo Pencil and Milk and then just blend that out and then I'm going to be applying mascara onto my upper and lower lashes. And then I'm just going in with this angled brush and I'm picking up those same blushes and I'm just going to add little details and then I'm just going to be blending everything out. Now moving on to contouring my neck and my chest, I'm just going to be going over all the hollows of my neck and then I'm just going to be blending that out and then just going to be highlighting all the places where I want to be highlighted. Then I'm going back in with the Lorac Pro palette and taking the champagne color again and I'm going to be highlighting the center of the lightning bolt. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel already, please hit the subscribe button down there so you guys are notified when I upload next. If you guys want to follow me on my other social medias, my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat is all Cameron Polito. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.